Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogboat333, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich. As Tomsk, or should I say, the Commonwealth of Siberia. Now, in the last video, we started stabilizing our political system. I think we agreed, basically, to kind of give up on our sort of, um, how do I put it, our sort of, um, Solana system in order to allow more people to run. So yeah, so I just had to put my two pieces in some on something real quick. Settle a uh, argument. Sport weapons four, the shield broken. Well, I'm sure that'll go well, huh? Is there a slot available? Let's get some inventory weapon improvements going as always get that shit going great labor conference is popping off they're moving up to Ugra up the way through Ugra and ignited by the tragedy the fascists of Russia perish in a farce so it's between Buryatia and uh, the father, it seems. Or it would seem. I don't know who to root for here. Um, maybe I could actually barter with the father. But then again, maybe I could actually barter with Buryatia as well. So I don't know. Oh, Pakistan becomes independent. Okay. It's a very narrow Pakistan. But they are democratic. Because I know it can go really bad and they'll go full on Mujahideen. Which is not nice. In fact, it's kind of terrifying. And uh, Afghanistan is still cucked out of the sea, it seems. Feels bad. But, you know what? What are you going to do? They got Lahore. Yeah, this is a somewhat. This is a pretty snaky Pakistan, but they got some territories they don't even have, have in our timeline. Like they got all of the Punjab, which is interesting. Decisions available. What do we want to decide on? Um. We can expand the university system, and that, as a result, will, you know, help our research facilities improve, as well as decrease political outsiders, which might not be the worst thing, especially if we get a bonus to our um, research facilities. That's definitely a good thing. Thieves and bandits cannot defeat an army. So I guess we'll see what happens with uh, Severdolovsk. And Zlatosk and all these guys. And Vorkuta and the free aviators. This might be set up for a sort of a nice little unification. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, let's work with the victors. In our conquest of a various warlord states and statelets of central Siberia, we've come into possession of a great deal of industrial machinery. Much of it is still operational, and what isn't can likely be repaired. We must begin cataloging and redistributing this machinery. The lion's share of it will be given to the workers' communes for their use in localized production. The next largest portion will go to the government for our needs in constructing and manufacturing. The remaining pieces will be auctioned off at low prices to the capitalist in the nation, bringing the government to a small profit and the capitalist more means of which to produce goods. Okay, that works. Let's see what else is going on. Open district map. 
still horribly unpopular in, in uh, Nova Suburbs. We might want to start working on that. Kimarovo. It'll only work in Kimarovo, apparently. You might want to weaken December's authority, perhaps. Oh, yep. There we go. There we go against Forkuta. I believe this is where the Euroleague event is ori originally comes out of. Civilian Construction 3. Or is it Civilian Construction the 3rd? Hmm. Alright, resource extraction. Let's get that going. Hopefully it actually does something, like, unlike in Kaiserreich. Well, this is a brutal one. This might go on for a while, which Brigatia ought to be prepared for, seeing how, you know, their war against Ertusk took fucking forever. We got Cheetahs, of course, state. Brigatia has a call on, on uh, Aldan. A more, no. The Magadon stuff, no. But the rest we'll have to wait and see. Probably consolidate humanist rule. Or do a pro humanist campaign. Probably do a campaign if I had a guess. If I had to decide right now. Alright, so political integration is at 14%. Holy crap. Huh. Oh, it gr that greatly decreases our um, popularity in a random district. Huh. Damn souls no longer guard their hell. So, do we have to wait until 69 to unify Russia, or what's the deal? Oh, we prefer independence with poverty to servitude with plenty. Seko Torre. Free Indonesia versus normal Indonesia, apparently. Hmm. To the victors, the gains. What else? We got the great clock, rights and duties, he he duty. Is there anything that'll increase our popularity? Maybe not. Um, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Let's work on rights and duties. Every relationship in life is a game of give and take. The same applies to the relationship between a government and its citizens. A government is obligated to maintain the roads, work to keep the crime rate low with police, and protect the citizens from outside threats like an invading nation with a military. In return, the people are compelled to pay taxes, go to school, participate in the military, and most importantly, vote. So as long as both parties continue to do their part and uphold relationship, this nation will thrive. Okay, I guess we've got to do the decisions here.
could weaken their um don't worry, but yeah, that's going to decrease our popularity. So I work, I think we just do um, campaigns to work on our popularity right now. Got moderate idealism working with our, us. She doesn't give us a description, but that's fine. Increases idealism and increases political outsiders. And that might not be the worst thing, honestly. Hopefully it isn't the worst thing. I don't know. Hungary sides with Germany. Another piece moves in the great game. Damn. Poor Italy. Oh, they got Scorza. Mamma mia. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Russia versus Samara. This is for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. Let us see what ends up happening here. So there's a whole Kazakhstan reunification thing going on. Now let's get working on better anti-tank. That might be a good idea. Our research team is, um... Our research speed is kind of not the best. We have, we have some pretty extreme political outsiders. So that's kind of hindering our, um, our game. Okay, pro-humanist campaign. Rights and duties. Um. Maybe the great clock, or maybe we do something else. Let's get some new friends in the salons. The four great salons have opened new branches all across the nation, and scores of curious citizens have begun attending them. Not all of our new residents find the salon system pertinent, but enough do that the four great societies have seen their membership swell. Dozens of new thoughts, artistic techniques, and political programs have begun swirling around the salons. Despite the grumbling of the old guard, the growth of the salon system is in the long run the likeliest candidate to fully resorb the political crisis, and for that reason, it could be a good idea for the central government to aid its spread throughout the nation. Art, scientists, and po sciences, uh, art, science, and politics shall be democratized. A new set of citizen assemblies are given birth throughout central Siberia. And I'm okay with that, honestly. Yeah, um, wonder what these guys are up to. Reincorporate their industry. Where is that? They were doing a bunch of different stuff, apparently. Offer from, oh, that's just their capital and their name. Um, it's just La Ghost, uh, the Free Aviators, as La Toast and the Free Aviators. Do they get any options? Tumen, Yugra, Rakuta, La Toast, offer for integration, which I'm guessing is the Aviators. We'll have to wait and see what ends up happening. Let's open the district map. Um, hmm. Controls district map. Got 
probably consolidate a rule next, I'm thinking. Gain some more authority. Because the other guys, well, other than the Vecemberist, have a pretty beefy lead on us. Okay, decisions available. Can't quite do the, the, any of this yet, but we'll work on it. You know, idealism is at 60%, political integration, not so much, but... You know, let's resolve the political crisis. Throughout, through our cooperation disputes, or through cooperation disputes, the four great salons have managed to weather the first political challenge to the Pasternak's New Republic. The issues of independent politicians and of cynic, cynicism in our nation air or nation are far from solved. Left to fester, these twin threats could end up fatally undermining our idealistic republic. This is no reason to despair, for our great democratic experiment also gives us the tools needed to weather this storm. We must stand vigilant, remain true to ourselves, and open com to compromise. Pasternak's legacy must endure, and as its great guardians, the four great salons must constantly strive to rise above petty politics to ensure that the flames of idealism burn in central Siberia. A bit less of a lull on our state and a lull to the political crisis. Very nice. Um, anything we can maybe do here. Bribe the opposition, lose some stability. Increase idealism, but yada yada. Greatly decreases human support. I don't want that. Expand the university system. That's honestly a pretty good one. Just to get our uh, research up and improving. Our academic base. Our research facilities. Whichever one it is. Still gonna have it going. You know? Okay, we got a full army working with us, which is nice. Um, I don't know who really has the advantage here. I mean, in some places, I don't know, right now I guess maybe it's Siberia? Well, let me check ongoing conflicts. Indonesian Civil War, Siberian Buryat War. Yeah, Buryat has the advantage right now. It's just to what, how long will they have the advantage? Is Samara actually pushing back? What? Yes, I did not expect that, to be honest. Hmm. Let's see. They've made some pushes in some places and have lost some in other places. Yeah, I'd say it's about 50-50 right now. Maybe a slight edge? I don't know, if they can figure out this po pocket, they might be good. If not, I don't know. Ooh, Republic of China declaring war of a national protection army. Right, because Yunnan has a treat for whatever reason. We have a basic army, disorganized economy, and we have resolved the political crisis. And if we didn't do that before, we have definitely done it now. Here we go, resolving the political crisis. Um.
Let's work on our economy a bit more. The Great Clock. The citizens of our Great Republic can, can be considered as cogs to a Great Clock. I'll worry about my empire in a second. Serving a purpose as inscrutable to them as a purpose of timekeeping might seem to the tiniest gear nestled deep inside the machinery of the cogs. However, each one of these gears and cogs working to keep the clock ticking are as vital to the clock's function as the arms on the face of the clock. Each one serves an individual purpose, just as each one of our citizens has done for our great democracy. Everyone has a place in society, and every person serves to make our nation greater. GDP boost, as well as, um, yeah. Annual budget is 5.88 billion. Our civilian expenditure is way more than that. So... What? How bad? Holy shit. We're not building anything. What? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Jesus fuck. All right, um horizontal industrial organization. Oh Jesus. All right, let's How's our PP gain? Not the best. Well, let's do civilian spending then. Extremism? No longer a severe threat. Instability? Ever present, but not at all crippling anymore. Be a stretch to call Central Siberia a beacon of stability, but it's safe to say that the young public is out of hot water now. Many of the former extremists, as well as a number of assorted independents, have begun accepting and joining our salons. Each day, a number of heated, angry arguments between factions are threatening to break out into violent decreases, with the number of impassioned but calm and logical discussions between former rivals increasing. It's really a wonder to see, for example, a former Slavok from Novosibirsk actually engaging in friendly debate with his colleague regarding the place of military intelligence in the Republican security apparatus. If we failed to get men like him on board with our political system, maybe he would have been threatening the state with his military power instead of sitting down for tea and a chat in the salon. Much progress has still yet to be made, but, our, but slowly the people all across our realm are integrating into our republic. Finally, a moment to breathe. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I think Briatia actually might lose us. Never mind. Our economy is disorganized. No wonder we're getting into debt. Lord civilian spending. Hopefully that'll help. A little bit. I mean, it's not looking good for Briatia, honestly. Army, 6 to 18 divisions. You have no national focus set, really. None. Nada. Nisht. Nyet? I don't know what none is in Russian. Anything, fellas? Um, well, any time, you know? Any time now. Sever Dolovsk. See, um, still can't consolidate humanist rule quite yet, but we're working on some stuff. Um, maybe your 
recruit the best outsiders. Yeah, let's get working on that, I guess. Our stability is going to drop, but it's already kind of low anyway. I was going to drop these guys. Cancel that line. I don't have a pull of manpower right now anyway. We're starting to mobilize a bit more, so in a while, you know, we'll be fine. But still, you know? Our GDP will boost a little bit. Uh, how about... Alright. Um, national focus. Let's go for... Should we start working on our army or just keep going down the military tree? I'm thinking... Hmm. Six of combat schooling. Let's go with better weapons. The rifle is the most important tool in the modern soldier's the modern soldier, soldier has at his disposal, and the quality of a soldier's rifle is as important as the training he receives to use it. Even the greatest soldier armed with a musket wouldn't be able to do half as much damage with a field as an untrained conscript with a Kalashnikov. The more lead one can saturate the battlefield with, the greater the chance that something or someone is going to be hit with said lead. Our enemies across the border are surely working on newer and more advanced versions of the rifles they already have. If we allow them to advance significantly past us, we might, fi might find ourselves overpowered in the field. Well, let's get working on it then, huh? What? Mixlov observed the flow of papers and surveys results that come across his desk frustrated. He rested his fist upon his chin, contemplating, but the results of his statistical questions were not good. Outside of Tomsk, the people were overwhelmingly against the extension of rights for the sexual minorities. The black ink da that dapples the towers of the disapproval columns were like soot in his fire halt. Perhaps here, they'd have run aground. He breathed a sigh. During the Soviet days, it was perhaps it would perhaps be effortless. Enforcing the rules from on high it was no troubling matter for the apparat addicts of the Communist Party. On paper, anyway. In the Constitution of a former Union, were protected uh, of a former Union, were protected protections granted to minorities that were unfulfilled for many years. As a Pole and a Jew, he would know the malignance of ignorance and malice that stem from it. Without a popular mandate, there would be no point to his bill. He would have to shelve it for now. Instead, he picked up his fountain pen and began writing. His handwriting wasn't something he would call beautiful, but would have to do. An education bill would perhaps be in order. Flowing from his pen were rivers of ink, cursive like the notation of musical pieces and compositions. He would have to shelve this one too, but perhaps one day, this would be just a step like a stepping stone after another. Mikhailov envisioned the modernist. The humanist, or envied the modernist, but the humanist should try nonetheless. Damn it, we're losing popularity here. This is not good. We're gonna lose our majority in the Duma. Or will we? And we're pretty good in Tomsk right now. I mean, some parts we are right up there. It's just in other parts, not so much. But Kamarovo is right on the verge of, of the first district, is right on the verge. God damn. Nova Sabursk has a bunch of popularity of Bastillards. Bastillards? I'm thinking that might be named after, the, like, the Bastille. I'd have to at least think so, right? Like, it's not a crazy assumption, right? Is Ferdlovs gonna do anything? Hello? Guys? I'm guessing no? I 
This one have some issues with focus trees, right? It's the only thing I can think of. Like, their decisions unlock parts of their focus tree. I can't think of anything else, honestly, that's causing that. We can consolidate rule. Um, well shoot, we're gonna have to go to here, folks. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of my content, feed you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For more uploads every weekday, as well as every Saturday. If you have any comments, feedback, and certainly leave in the comment section below. I read all comments I get, and I appreciate any and all feedback you might have for me. If you want to um, keep up to date to what I'm saying, hit that subscribe button. I have um, little different uploads like uh, main series uploads like this every weekday and I do random stuff on the weekends or well, Saturday at least it's one of the days of a weekend but not the whole weekend we'd be forgetting Sunday anyhow um, I'm just I'm, I'm sidetracked um if you want to send a few bucks my way over patreon down below you can check out it's not much um, but I don't make much off these videos anyway so if you think I deserve a few bucks I'd appreciate if you consider sending it to my patreon if not fair enough I'll, um, I'll figure something else out. I also have a Discord if you want to check it out. We'll chat, play games, and chat for grand old time in general. And finally, if you, um, want to see me do these things live, I have a Twitch down link below. You can go ahead and subscribe and be notified when I start doing these series on there, or whatever I do on there. That's it for now, folks. My name has been Doggo333. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.